Welcome back to my channel everyone. It's Leah with Skin Beautiful Rx and today we are talking about snail mucin. You can also see it as snail mucus, snail uh, filtrate. There's a lot of different names but basically it's all the same and it does come from a snail. Now some people are really like grossed out by it but I love snail mucin and that's why I'm doing this video today because so many people are like ooh totally grossed out by it but hopefully Hopefully by the end of this video, we're going to go over why it's so great for all skin types, acne prone skin, easily congested skin, uh, red skin, easily irritated skin, uh, mature skin, aging skin, any type of skin, snail mucin is going to be an amazing, amazing additive to your skincare routine. We're also going to go over a few products that I love that utilize snail mucin and these animal growth factor proteins um, in their actual formulations. So let's go ahead and get started. So as I mentioned, snail mucin is an animal growth factor. It's a super gentle humectant, aids in wound repair, uh, regeneration of the skin, fibroblast regeneration, actually promotes cell proliferation, the growth um, of new cells, and helps with skin tightening, fine lines and wrinkles. So it's just a overall amazing, amazing ingredient. So what makes snail mucin so wonderful for the skin? Well, one, these secretions are very similar to human skin. So it's readily accepted by our skin. Snail mucin increases fibroblast, wound healing, tissue repair. It treats the skin, hydrates the skin, it repairs the, the skin matrix, the skin barrier, so that the skin is just overall much healthier. It's fantastic for acne prone skin types, easily congested skin types, mature skin. No matter what type of skin you have, snow mucin is going to be great for you. So unlike human growth factors, human growth factors have this really high molecular weight and they actually utilize the hair follicle to penetrate the skin to get to where they can actually uh, you know, be used and be active. So unlike human growth factors where they have to be applied first, growth factors, snail mucin growth factors actually can be utilized, you know, wherever you would really like in your skincare routine. Of course, before SPF, before thick moisturizers, but they are readily absorbed by the skin and they don't have to use that hair follicle like human growth factors do. Snail mucin is made up of amazing ingredients for our skin. One of those ingredients are glycoproteins. Glycoproteins Proteins pair with glycerin, ceramides, and hyaluronic acid. Keep the skin barrier healthy and intact. It also contains glycoaminoglycans or hyaluronic acid to help with tool or the transepidermal water loss. So just those two ingredients alone, you're going to have this really refreshed, hydrated, healthy skin barrier, lessening the chances of dry skin, irritation, redness, all those things that you start to see acne when you actually start to have an impaired skin barrier. So as I mentioned, snail secretion growth factors utilize a lot of the same ingredients that are found in human skin. So if you're somebody who just does not get behind the idea of a actual human growth factor, snail secretion is going to be an um, is going to be a great compromise while still getting all of those great nutrients for your skin for anti-aging and skin repair. Now, historically, snail secretions, growth factors have been used for people with actual wounds. So why would we use them in our skincare if we're not treating a burn, radiation dermatitis, undergoing radiation therapy or treatment? Well, there's so many other reasons that you can use it for anti-aging or this the treatment of compromised skin. For me, having a growth factor after you having laser treatment, ablative laser or non-ablative laser as well, or microneedling, chemical peels, that is like a must have. And a lot of people, now that it's the fall, people have been messaging me like, I just had this laser treatment, what should I do? And I'm immediately like, oh my gosh, like whoever did that uh, peel, laser treatment should have told you. But for me personally, having a growth factor to really kickstart that healing process, lessening the chances of hyperpigmentation, scarring, or, you know, if, if 
some people can get a little heavy handed with certain modalities and you actually compromise the skin more than you know what you're actually trying to treat having a growth factor to really help that process of healing and regenerating the skin is going to be imperative a little bit deeper into what these snail secretion growth factors are going to be doing for you so if we're just talking about treating aging or premature aging of the skin a growth factor is still a necessity in any routine over time the skin cells lose their ability to renew that's why having a growth factor to help with that cell proliferation is going to be so important these growth factors are going to help repair and replace these damaged cells as these existing cells deplete as we age so do the proteins vital to the support and the structure of our skin this long term is why you see laxity issues you have the jowls um, you know what what was up here is now sliding down to here so as we age and we lose the the ability to renew our cells the structure of our cells starts the structure of our skin starts to deplete as well By replenishing what we're losing we have the ability to maintain healthy skin with continued use you'll see a lessening of fine lines and wrinkles an overall luminosity to the skin much better hydration less dryness less redness less irritation to the skin if you have acne you will see a lessening of acne uh, acne you're going to see a amazing amazing treatment for uh, scarring no matter if it's raised scarring hypertrophic scarring or just post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation snail secretions are amazing for that one of the things i really like to mention is that some people can't use a hyaluronic acid serum because you know a higher molecular weight tends to clog their pores or cause uh, congested skin so if you're one of those people instead of using a hyaluronic acid using a snail mucin is going to be great for you because you're still getting hyaluronic acid in the way of the snail secretion however the weight of the snail secretion does not cause those congest congested pores or congested skin you're still getting all the hydration plus a lot of other benefits that you really wouldn't get with your hyaluronic acid serum so it's a great alternative for somebody who can't use an ha so the first product that I would like to talk about is the Biopel Tensage Intensive Serum 40. So the Serum 40 is like, to me, the perfect, perfect product to have post-procedure. Of course, there are other really great growth factors, but I especially like this one after laser, after microneedling, because it does utilize um, natural skin brighteners in this as well. Again, helping to lessen the chances of rebound hyperpigmentation due to you know a laser or microneedling, microneedling treatment that your skin just didn't um, adjust well to. Additionally, the 40%, um, the bio index of this is 40% growth factor getting a really high dose of these animal growth factor um, reparative technologies and these do come in ampules and these do come in ampules and you'll just break them open and apply directly to the skin these significantly decrease healing time for any type of procedure you have whether it be ablative or non-ablative this will not only lessen the healing time, but it truly does help get the most out of your procedure. If you're spending so much money, you want to make sure your post care is, you know, really well thought out because again, it's going to make the difference between an average result or an exceptional result when you have a in office procedure done. Some other products that I really like, and I've actually been using it for me daily just in my regular routine i haven't had any procedures done but i just love the way it feels on the skin and i just wanted to be able to talk about it as well because it is new to me um this is from a medical korean skincare brand called skinbolic and you know i love this brand i've been using a few of their masks which are really really amazing which have the pll in it but this in particular really spoke to me because I love snail secretions and I wanted to try it. This is their Nutra Vital Serum. So I 
I'm not exactly sure. Um, I did try to find out and I will update below when I do find out what type of snail is used. I'm not sure if it's the Cryptopolymus dispersus snail, like the Biopel. Not a lot use that snail in particular. Usually it's just a regular garden snail when you're talking about Korean beauty. But I did want to know so I could tell you guys. So I will update my box below. But in the meantime, this is a snail secretion and it is their growth factor regenerative post-treatment product. Now again, you don't have to be post-treatment to use a product like this. Like I said, I've been using it in my routine just because it's so great for redness, it's so great for skin hydration, it doesn't cause acne, it doesn't cause issues with congested pores, and it just feels really good. Now this serum is really unique. Not only does it have the snail mucus, so the snail growth factor, which is going to help with elastin regeneration of the skin helping with uh, skin redness but this also of course has your natural hyaluronic acid in it but they also added uh, a vegetable extract including green tea and if we all know what how wonderful green tea is for the skin it's a natural antioxidant it's great for just keeping the skin healthy of course you're not going to see these amazing um, changes when you're using an antioxidant serum it's more so you'll see it long term this green tea is full of antioxidants that are great for making the skin safe and protected. This also has centella in it, and I've been talking about centella for years and years and years. It's one of my favorite ingredients, and has been for a really long time. It's clinical uses centella asiatica in a majority of their products, and I just love that ingredient. So when I saw it was in this, of course, I immediately had to add it to my routine. Um, and then, of course, this also has aloe. Aloe, it's going to be great for burns. It's going to be great for soothing the skin. It's one of the most commonly used skincare ingredients. So that was, of course, you know, an, a great ingredient for me. There's not a lot of other benefits, but it's just so gentle and calming for the skin. So if you're somebody with like rosacea, you don't have to be post-procedure. This is going to be a great little serum for you. And it is a little more um, budget friendly. So if you've been looking for a really soothing product, whether you're post-procedure, you have rosacea prone skin, or you just really want to add in a product that utilizes snail secretion, then this is going to be a great product to consider. Next product is not going to be one that I would probably recommend immediately after any type of cosmetic procedures. I would definitely first go to the um, Biopel 40 Ampules or the Skin Biolic Nutrivital Serum. However, say you are like a week to two weeks post procedure and you are just adding back in a growth factor or you're just watching this and looking for a great growth factor does, that does not contain human derived growth factor or stem cell condition media, then my Tensage Daily Serum, I used this serum for years. I only recently uh, switched over to Neogenesis, but this is one of my like tried true products that I used forever. I absolutely love it. It is such a great product for somebody who also wants to use a product that does multiple things. So not only is this your daily growth factor, not only does it hydrate the skin, repair the skin barrier, contains those humectants, um, the glycerin, the it contains those glycoproteins, glycoproteins, the glycoaminoglycans, the HA, but this also has tons of natural antioxidants and safe skin brighteners. So for somebody who doesn't can't find a vitamin C to use, doesn't enjoy a vitamin C, uh, just hasn't found one you love, or you just want to pare down your routine, you get so much in this little bottle. You get your growth factor, your antioxidants, your safe skin brighteners. This does have a SCA of 15, whereas the ampules had 40. What's also special about this is it also has niacinamide or uh, a derivative of vitamin B, which is where you're going to get uh, that skin calming, the reduction of redness, uh, the skin brightening benefits and again you're just getting so much in this one little bottle so this is such a great snail secretion growth factor this would be a daily serum and um, it is just fabulous like I said I used it for years uh, the next product and it's super dirty I apologize because <laughs> I use this is the Tensage Radiance Eye Cream. So again, a growth factor, but in the eye serum. And what I love about this product is that it's tinted. 
Uh, the 10 Soft Radiance Eye Cream has an SCA of 10, so perfect for around the eyes. You're gonna get firming, you're gonna get brightening. It actually, because it is tinted, it helps if you have dark circles to just even out that skin tone, illuminate the eyes on application, and help over time to actually correct the reason you're having those dark circles. It does help to build the epidermis, increase fibroblasts, help with cell, cell proliferation. So you will see which was once very thin, dry, dehydrated, uh, prone to laxity skin when you use a growth factor you're going to see an immediate change with that well not immediate but long term you will see a change with that and even with an eye serum the next product I want to talk about um, I don't think I've actually talked about it before is the tensage antioxidant defense serum so this is an amazing antioxidant serum to use in your routine and uh, it's very powerful. Plus, it also has the SCA of 10, so you're still getting growth factors and uh, snail secretions, growth factors in this particular serum. What I did want to mention about this, and like I said earlier, antioxidants are something you're going to use for long term results, nothing immediate. It's not like you're going to see this amazing change from an antioxidant serum regarding you know fine lines and wrinkles or firmness now you're definitely going to see that from the growth factors and the brightening agents that are in this product but an antioxidant serum is for protection but what's great about this product is that they combine it with a vitamin C and ferulic in this growth factor product so I did want to mention the bio pro Biopel products do have a natural fragrance. It's not synthetic, but it is rather potent. Um, I guess I would say rather potent. So it does have a natural smell. Um, and I, it doesn't bother me. Again, I would not completely negate thinking of using a product because it has the word fragrance in the ingredient list. Somebody with rosacea and sensitive skin, I feel confident saying that not only for you, but for myself. Um, so I did want to mention that though, for people that are completely against using products with fragrance, that's completely up to you. Um, but let's go ahead now and get into what these products actually look like. So again, the Biopel Tensage Intensive Serum 40 comes in these ampules. And you can see that it's just an ampule, ampule fold of like a amber golden um, serum. And again, this is a very potent growth factor ampule. Next is the Tensage Daily Serum. And it comes out almost like a milky texture and color but it really just absorbs into the skin so quickly it doesn't leave any type of tackiness on the skin and again like i find that it smells really nice i've used it forever but um it absorbs into the skin very very quickly and leaves no tackiness or heavy feeling on the skin the skin bolic neutral vital serum I find to be a bit more hydrating than the Biopel products. Um, you can even see that as I work it into the skin, it definitely leaves behind a really like nice hydrated look to the skin and it just feels really, really good. So again, your skin will feel very hydrated when using this product um, immediately, plus of course, long-term. The Radiance Eye Cream, like I said, does have a tint to it so it's going to be great for anybody that suffers from dark circles and it comes out um i guess like a light light illuminating brown color <laughs> almost pink actually it matches my shirt a little bit and again you just want to work that into the skin but you can see how that actually dries down really really nicely almost like a concealer and it just really you can tell is reflecting that light back so it's going to help tremendously with dark circles so back to snail mucin while it typically is seen in korean skincare which skinbolic is a korean medical brand there are some medical brands here in the usa that do utilize snail secretions and they are so good like i said uh you will just love the way your skin responds and feels when you're using a snail secretion like all ingredients not all snail mucin is created equal not all secretions are the same there are multiple different forms of secretions and if you want one for anti-aging it's really best to do your research 
when utilizing a snail mucin serum. Whether it's healing the skin of an actual wound or just making sure all your efforts that you're putting into your anti-aging routine uh, come to fruition, snail mucin growth factors are one of my favorite ingredients. So I hope this video was really helpful. I hope at the end you see why so many people are reaching for snail mucin growth factor serums, including myself. If you have any questions, please let me know below. If you are not currently subscribed to my channel, please consider it. And I will see you guys next time on my next video. See you then. Bye-bye.